In the heart of London, where millions of passengers rely on the underground every single day, history was made once again in late September 2025. On the 27th and 28th of September, the brand new London Underground Piccadilly Line 2024 stock entered a crucial phase of its journey, dynamic testing. For many Londoners, this may have looked like just another train running along familiar tracks, but for engineers, transport historians, and rail enthusiasts across the world, it was a moment of transformation, the dawn of a new era for the world's oldest metro system. The 2024 stock, designed and built by Siemens Mobility, represents one of the most advanced and ambitious fleet upgrades ever undertaken on the London Underground. These sleek new trains are built not just to move people efficiently, but to redefine what it means to travel on the tube. Every line on its aerodynamic body, every component of its digital control system, and every element of its interior design tells a story of innovation, sustainability, and progress. Dynamic testing, the phase captured during the weekend of 27 to 28 September 2025, marks the point where technology and reality finally meet. It is the moment when the trains leave the safety of test tracks and operate under live, real-world conditions. The purpose is simple but vital, to test how the train behaves under real passenger service situations, its acceleration, braking, energy consumption, and interaction with the existing London Underground infrastructure. Engineers closely monitor how each system communicates with the network, ensuring perfect synchronization between hardware and software before passengers ever set foot on board. These tests took place along sections of the Piccadilly Line, one of the busiest deep-level routes in the underground network, stretching from Heathrow Airport in the west to Cockfosters in the northeast. The choice of this line is not coincidental. The Piccadilly Line has been in service for over a century, with its current 1973 stock trains running for more than 50 years. The introduction of the 2024 stock is therefore not just an upgrade, it's a generational leap forward. The new trains are longer, smoother, and far more energy efficient than their predecessors. Each train consists of nine fully connected cars, creating a walk-through interior that maximizes capacity and allows free movement between coaches. This design is a first for deep-level tube trains and provides a more open and modern experience, similar to the newer Overground or Elizabeth Line trains. Passengers will experience larger doors for faster boarding, bright LED lighting that adjusts to external light conditions, and advanced air cooling systems, a welcome relief during the hot London summers. From a technical perspective, the 2024 stock pushes the boundaries of modern metro engineering. The trains are equipped with state-of-the-art traction motors capable of regenerative braking, meaning that every time the train slows down, it recovers energy that can be fed back into the power grid. This innovation is expected to reduce overall energy use by about 20%, supporting transport for London's sustainability goals and lowering carbon emissions across the city. During the September 2025 dynamic testing sessions, engineers paid close attention to every sound, vibration, and data signal coming from the train. At stations such as Hammersmith, Acton Town, and South Ealing, cameras captured the elegant white and blue body of the 2024 stock gliding past with near silence. These test runs were conducted both in daylight and after dark, covering various operating conditions to simulate real service demands. The train's onboard computer systems, developed by Siemens, automatically analyzed and transmitted real-time performance data to control centers. This ensured that any irregularities could be detected instantly, allowing engineers to fine-tune the system before public operation. Beyond technology, however, the emotional significance of this testing period cannot be overstated. For decades, Londoners have grown up with the sound of the 1973 stock's distinctive motor hum and the sight of its rounded carriages. Seeing the 2024 stock roll through tunnels for the first time felt like witnessing the future unfold, a glimpse of what the next 50 years of travel could look like beneath the streets of the capital. This transformation also reflects the evolution of public transport expectations in the 21st century. Today's passengers demand comfort, accessibility, and sustainability, not just reliability. The 2024 stock meets these demands head-on, with features like low floor entry for improved accessibility, digital passenger information screens, and enhanced safety systems. It's not just about speed, it's about creating a smarter, cleaner, and more connected travel experience. 
The dynamic testing process involves several stages. First comes low-speed testing, where engineers verify that doors, brakes, and propulsion systems respond correctly under gentle conditions. Once the train passes these checks, it moves to high-speed tests, evaluating how it performs at operational speeds of up to 100 km per hour. Engineers measure acceleration rates, braking distances, noise levels, and the smoothness of ride quality. Then come the endurance tests, where the train is run repeatedly over several days to ensure long-term stability and reliability. The weekend of 27 to 28 September marked one of the final major dynamic test events before certification and safety approvals. Dozens of engineers, technicians, and TFL inspectors were present, working in teams around the clock. Their mission was simple, ensure that the 2024 stock could safely and seamlessly integrate into London's complex rail network. The testing also helped verify compatibility with the underground's fourth rail electrical system, a distinctive feature that differentiates it from most global metros. Public reaction to the early footage from these test runs has been overwhelmingly positive. Videos posted online showed London's iconic skyline reflecting off the new train's glossy exterior. Rail enthusiasts from around the world praised its futuristic look, comparing it favorably with systems in Tokyo, Berlin, and Paris. Many noted that the design still retains a distinctly, London, identity, compact yet elegant, traditional yet forward-thinking. For Transport for London TFL, this milestone is part of a larger modernization effort. The 2024 stock is the first step in a long-term plan to upgrade several deep-level lines, including the Bakerloo and Central lines in the coming decades. Each advancement builds on lessons learned from the previous generation, and the Piccadilly line is the pioneer that sets the tone for all that follows. Another key aspect of this project is its focus on British industry and job creation. Although the trains are built by Siemens, much of the assembly and engineering work takes place at the Goul Rail facility in East Yorkshire, a £200 million investment that supports thousands of skilled jobs in the UK. This partnership not only strengthens the country's engineering heritage but also ensures long-term economic benefits through supply chain development and export potential. As the 2024 stock continues its testing cycle, anticipation grows for its official passenger debut, expected in 2026. When that moment arrives, commuters will board a train that is quieter, faster, and more comfortable than anything the tube has seen before. But even more, importantly, they will be riding on the shoulders of over 160 years of transport evolution, from the world's first underground railway in 1863 to the smart, sustainable network of the future. For now, the, the 27th to the 28th of September 2025 testing stands as a milestone, a quiet revolution beneath the streets of London. Every wheel rotation, every system check, and every successful run brings the city one step closer to the next chapter in its transport history. The 2024 stock isn't just another train, it's a symbol of London's relentless drive to innovate, adapt, and improve. So when you next hear that familiar announcement, this is a Piccadilly line service to Heathrow Terminal 5 inches, remember that behind those words lies decades of progress, thousands of hours of engineering precision, and the dreams of everyone who believes in a better, cleaner, and smarter way to move millions through the heart of one of the world's greatest cities.